So we wanted to give you five easy, quick tips for designing, developing, and implementing and managing your service catalogue. Just really five things to, be to, to, to think about as you approach this or revisit your service catalogue. So tip one, think about your tooling, the products you've got. Make sure you utilise the functionality, the capabilities that they've got within them. Think about driving them, but also letting them guide you. They will have been designed around effective service catalogue management. So make sure you take advantage of all the rich functionality you've paid and invested in. Tip two, think about the presentation side. What we're talking about here is if your service catalogue is more along the lines of enabling a request fulfillment, think about the customer, the user experience. It's vital. You want people to engage. You want people to, dare I say, enjoy using your service catalogue. If they're coming in by your self-service portal, then the presentation layer is key, just as much as the functionality side. So start thinking about that user experience, the graphical side. Make sure that, above all, you are easy to deal with. And then we've got tip three, engage with the business. And what we're talking about is make sure you're talking that common language, you're moving together. And one of our recommendations is to put together one or more workshops, fully facilitated with the business, to get you guys talking that same language, to make sure you both understand the benefits, the deliverables, and what's required from either party to have a successful service catalogue management process and experience. And then we've got tip four. Think about starting somewhere. Now what we mean by that is often we find that some of our customers spend months, even years, trying to design and develop the perfect service catalogue before actually publishing something. And that perfection never really ever gets realized. So what we say is start somewhere. No matter how basic it is, just start and improve and build with that engagement. You know, take almost that, an agile approach to your service catalog. Don't try and create the perfect shining gold um, uh, service catalog there. Get something in place and improve. And then tip five, what we're talking about here is ownership. If you've got quite an extensive service catalogue, you need to engage within your whole provider domain. And what we're talking about there is getting people to own services, to drive the information, to drive their part of the service catalogue under overall control, but making sure you understand they've got visibility of each piece of this jigsaw puzzle. Hope they've helped. Hopes to see you soon. Bye-bye.